The Idaho State Department of Agriculture started the treatment method to eradicate the invasive quagga mussel found in a section of the Mid Snake River. Now, the state's aggressive treatment method is also expected to kill a significant number of fish. And News Channel 7's Jude Binkley has been following the quagga response since the invasive, invasive species was found in the river on September 18th. And he talked with Fish and Game about how they will rebuild fish populations. Jude, walk us through what you learned. Well, sure. There are a number of state agencies that are part of Idaho's first ever rapid response plan to eradicate the mussels. And Idaho Fish and Game is monitoring the potential fish mortality from this treatment. Treatment is now flowing into the Snake River to kill off invasive quagga mussels that could cause a potential crisis. But that treatment will likely also kill other things in the river. At this point, we are expecting some significant fish loss. What that will truly look like is still yet to be determined. The copper-based treatment being used to eradicate quagga mussels won't poison the fish and it won't be absorbed into muscle tissue. Instead, it prevents the fish from being able to take oxygen out of the water and into their bloodstream. The chemical uh, binds to the oxygen receptors on the gills. And so if these fish sense it, they could potentially migrate down river. Before the treatment started going into the water, Idaho Fish and Game sampled the section of the Snake River that will be impacted between Twin Falls Dam and Niagara Springs to get information that will help rebuild fish populations in the future. We essentially came out here, electrofished and sampled approximately 2,000 fish that we put uh, hole punches in their tail so that if we do see these fish as mortality, um, we can get a ratio to marked and unmarked uh, fish, and that's how we develop our population estimates. During their sampling, Idaho Fish and Game found that the about six-mile stretch of the Snake River has a mix of game fish and non-game fish. Some of the, the larger um, parts of the fish community include like large scale suckers, common carp, um, and some small uh, red side shiners. And so um, in terms of game fish, we have uh, sturgeon within the water, uh, as well as uh, smallmouth bass and some panfish. Moving forward, Idaho Fish and Game will rebuild impacted fish populations through translocations and stalking from hatcheries. We'll be able to use that to identify uh, translocations of fish. So we can go to another population uh, such as CJ Strike Reservoir to collect smallmouth bass to bring in here and jumpstart that population back. The Snake River treatment is part of the state's plan to eradicate the quagga mussels that threaten Idaho's hydropower, irrigation and recreation. The invasive mussels could also disrupt the river's food chain. Left unchecked, this could could change a lot of these uh, population size structure. We could see changes in juvenile uh, fish survival. So these mussels tend to compete for food sources that are, are also utilized by some of these fish species. Idaho Fish and Game says this is an evolving situation and biologists will continue to monitor the treatment area. And sure, there's also a fish hatchery in Niagara Springs. And the State Department of Agriculture says that will not be impacted by the treatment. Good news there. Yeah, definitely a significant impact on other areas as we're seeing right there. All right, Jude, thanks for staying on top of this. I know you'll continue to do so.